the legs that went first, man. I'll tell you, it just takes so much time to shave your legs. Oh, this you crazy mother. I am super excited to do today's video, which is going to be on why I don't shave my body hair. Before I do that, a quick update to those of you who have expressed interest in knowing about my whereabouts. I just got to Lima, Peru. I've been here for a couple of days. It's amazing. It's hot, so if I look sweaty, it's because I am. If you want to stay more updated on what I'm doing and where I am, check out my Instagram. I post there pretty regularly. So body hair. I'm really excited to get into this. I've been wanting to make this video for over a year. I had so many ideas about how I wanted to do it. I wanted to bring in really awesome people with body hair, without body hair. I wanted to get interviews. I wanted to get really cool armpit shot pictures. While gathering bits and pieces of all that, I realized, okay, come on now, Britt, just, let's just make the video because it's been a while. And I woke up knowing that today was the day to bring you this video on why I don't shave my body hair. To be specific, I don't shave any of my body hair. I think it's pretty safe to say in the US it seems common for a lot of women to shave their armpit hair, their leg hair, and some kind of maintenance on their pubic hair, whether they're shaving or waxing or trimming, etc. And I have in the past done all of these things. Before I get into my current personal preferences on this subject, I'd love to say that it's my desire to always share with you all from a place of excitement and joy and to offer you my experience. My desire is for it to inspire you, to tap into what feels right for you and to have your own unique experience. So my desire for creating this video is not to get all humans to stop shaving. I don't feel that way at all. I really feel like do whatever feels best for you, do whatever is fun and awesome and exciting for you. So here's a little bit about what's fun and exciting and awesome for me around the topic of body hair. I love having hair in all the parts of my body that I have hair and I feel really grateful for it. Growing up, I remember seeing my mom and my older sisters shaving their legs and their armpits in the bathtub. When I was around 10 or 11 years old, I started noticing the hair on my body and thinking about shaving it too. By the time I was like 11 or 12, I remember it was the topic of discussion for girls in my class. The ins and outs of shaving. It was just fun for us, I think, to feel like we were growing up and doing this womanly thing. The legs seem most prominent in my memory. I'm sure armpits phased in somewhere in there because I remember by the time I was a teenager, I was definitely shaving my legs and my armpits regularly. It felt so fun afterwards to have these silky smooth legs. And I remember feeling almost dirty or gross if I was wearing shorts and I hadn't shaved my legs. I felt some shame, like I wasn't feminine enough. I was a total tomboy too, so I'm sure that played into it. I know, especially when I had really short hair, I, I desperately wanted for people to know I was a girl because I got mistaken for a boy sometimes and to see like, hey, here's another female thing I do. Which is all kind of ironic because now over a decade later, I could care less about gender. By the time I was 14 or 15 and had a few significant sexual connections, I started to become more aware of my pubic hair as well. In my first long-term partnership, we were exploring a lot sexually. My partner expressed his preference for me not to have pubic hair. And I was just kind of like, okay, yeah, I hear you. I'm not gonna shave my pubic hair, I'm gonna look like a little girl. But by the time I was with my next partner, I did. I, I felt a desire to shave all my pubic hair. And then I followed that trend for some time, shaving all those regions for quite a few years. It was the legs that went first, man. I'll tell you, it just takes so much time to shave your legs. And it was funny how it slowly started to creep in. In the winter in Rhode Island, for instance, I felt like, what's the point? My legs are barely showing except for when I'm at the gym and who cares? I also have really light body hair, so it wasn't even that noticeable. As time passed, it seemed to be something of a special occasion if I decided to shave. A couple of times, I let it grow for so long that it, it grew out and was nice and soft. And I started to realize that, oh, huh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> Thinking about that in regards to pubic hair, when I first started shaving, I really noticed how uncomfortable it was. It was so prickly when it grew back in and itchy and tickly. It was hard to get used to, but I did. And to be honest, I felt like I was really doing it for my partners. I really loved to receive oral sex and to be played with in that region, and I felt like 
it was a courtesy to them in some way. About four or five years ago, when I really started changing my diet and lifestyle, I started to come in contact with a lot more beautiful women who had body hair. And I found myself fascinated by them. Here they were, gorgeous, all different ages, so vital, and they were rocking it. And I noticed, I just wanted to stare at them. It felt like, how could this sexy, confident woman just have this pit full of armpit hair right now? I really liked it. I was attracted to them. I wanted to be like them. Up until that point, I just hadn't really encountered a lot of females who had body hair. It was pretty easy for me to let go of leg hair completely. I realized <laughs> I, I hate shaving my legs. I'm not interested in doing it anymore. I can totally let go of that. I remember at first it was odd to go out in shorts and have these full hairy legs and feel sexy and vibrant and clean. But as it became my norm, I got really used to it. And I started coming into contact with more people who had those same preferences. I started to think about not shaving the rest of my body hair too. And I was intrigued by it and I kind of wanted to do it, but I didn't feel quite there yet. The people I was connecting with at the time didn't really love body hair and I didn't feel that extra boost of confidence from them. And then I met somebody who did and whose preference it was for me to have all body hair, who was super into pubic hair. And that was so fun. It came at the exact right time, which is no surprise. So I started growing my bush and it was so fun and awesome to find out that it was bright red, which like I just wouldn't have known. I also started growing my armpit hair. What proceeded was specifically sexually, I came to learn more about the glory of having body hair and what it can provide in that realm. We have pubic hair for a reason, and there's so many ways that I found it can really enhance sexual play. I guess that's a topic for another video or another channel, but I do want to mention it. For me, it brought heightened confidence in, in who I am naturally and being me. It got me thinking more about what are other ways that you know, I could, I could just be more human. I could be more naturally me who I am. What are other things that I'm doing that are taking time that I don't want to be spending? Are there other products I don't actually have to buy? It was so convenient not to have to travel with a razor anymore, especially given how much I fly and have to go through security. At that point, I wasn't wearing makeup or a bra anymore or doing so many other things. I didn't have a lot of natural hygiene products. So it seemed really obvious and in line with the life I was leading. I found overall that my confidence in being me and rocking my body hair led to other people's attraction to me. Partners I had connected with sexually before who weren't interested in pubic hair actually came to really enjoy it. And people in my life in general who had thought that, you know, body care was kind of weird totally embraced what I was doing. I don't feel like I grew to be any less attractive in their eyes. And that really isn't the point anyway. The point for me was that I got to be more of who I wanted to be, more of my natural self, and to share that with the world with confidence. So many more fun things have unraveled since then. I couldn't even begin to explain. I have always wanted to try modeling and I got into modeling and did some really cool nude photo shoots. One specifically where the photographer was requesting a model with full on natural body hair and expressed that that was really hard to find these days. That shoot alone and the shots that I got from it gave me so much bush confidence. I find all kinds of humans attractive, no matter their gender, no matter their shaving preferences. What I feel most drawn and attracted to is people feeling really strong and confident in rocking who they are. I know a lot of people, and women especially, have expressed their desire to be more natural in the realm of body hair, to just grow it, to let it be. I'm so eager to be able to share this video with you and say why I love it, why I feel like it really works for me. I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day.